So I want to show you guys something. I didn't get to film while we were doing it, but we wanted to replace this. You, I think you call the cable the Martingale. This is the Seagull Striker. Seagull Striker. And I think the cable's called the Martingale. Something like that. But it pretty much just counters the load of the four stay on that front beam. And we wanted to replace that, and we did. Our friend actually had one that was never used, but it got a little dirty and everything, so he just gave it to us. It's never been a saltwater environment. We'll just clean it up a little bit. And instead of replacing the system, like originally it had a tang here to the cable, and then a turnbuckle down there to another little tang. Same thing on this side. It was a separate tang with a separate cable down with another turnbuckle. I didn't like that because you can tension the turnbuckle separately on each side and possibly have more tension on the single rod on one side than the other. It might be easy to see, but I just didn't like the idea of that. I wanted something that would go across and be one cable all tensioned together at the same time, putting pressure straight down on the seagull striker. So our friend recommended this system to tension. That way we don't need expensive brand new turnbuckles. So that way it's just one simple wire with just a swage den on both ends, no turnbuckles, because those turnbuckles probably would have been like over a hundred bucks each for new ones. And then, uh, and then just this sucker. And I don't want to tension it yet because we don't have our force day loaded up yet. We're waiting for a toggle to be made here. Um, so it's just kind of on. It's got a little bit of tension on it already, but if I tensioned that up too much, I could bend the crossbeam down too, you know, too much. It's a one and a half inch bolt that's like, I don't know, 10 inches long, eight inches long, goes down to like there. And then this nut is secured onto that. And the groove won't allow that bolt or nut to spin. So once we tension this nut, it's just gonna push the bolt up and then that'll put a lot of tension on the on the wire. Just thought it was pretty cool I wanted to show you guys. 